Hi all, um, this is Mike here. Uh, pardon me for the uh, voice today, I'm having a bit of sore throat. Uh, but in today's video, I'm going to bring you the steps on, as you can see now, the phone is still pretty new. I haven't actually uh, locked it yet. So, um, what I'm trying to do today will be flashing Lineage OS 16 over to the Poco Phone F1. Um, and I'll show you the step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. Um, especially when the reviews have been pretty good for it. So um, let's get on with it. Okay, on a general basis, the, there is a few steps. The first thing you need to do is to unlock the phone itself. So in order to unlock the phone, um, you need to actually go through a lengthy process uh, for that. So I'll just uh, provide the steps for you guys to do that. Once it's unlocked, then we will move on to the actual steps of uh, flashing custom ROM onto your uh, custom Lineage OS onto the phone itself. Okay, first of all, you need to go to the uh, Mi UI Unlock website, which I'll share with you down in the description below. So what you can do after you click on Mi Unlock, it requires to log in. So once you log into the uh, website, you'll be able to download the Mi Unlock app. So download it. So uh, first thing you need to do is to enable uh, developer's option. So logically here, this one you go to here, you can find the um, UI version, uh, logically it should be Android version, or um, it should be the build number. Uh, let me see where is the build number, maybe it's this. Yep, now you are a developer. So if you go back, look for additional settings, develop option. So when we look at this screen itself, uh, there are some things that you need to do. First of all, is allow OEM unlocking. Then um, there's been debugging. Okay. Then if you look at look, there's a new UI unlock status, right? So for this one, first of all, you'll need to put in the SIM card. If you don't put in a SIM card, you can't do that. You need to enter SIM card, tap add account to associate the new account device and stuff. So you will need to put in a SIM card. So for me, I'll put in a SIM card. And once you have done that, you just add an account, log into your MIUI account, MIUI account, and you are more or less connected to this. Once you are connected to this, then you can start the uh, request for unlock process. All right? Just let's get on to the uh, computer or the rest, uh, for rest of setup. Or let me just pop in a SIM card and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so you can see now I have popped in the SIM card. So what you need to do now is to go to the, uh, what do you call it, additional settings. Developers option. I just put it um, developers option. Then me UI long status. Agree. Then you need to add an account, right? So here you will need to sign in with your another account. Okay, so you enter for me is to enter my account. So what you need to do now is to sign into your account. Okay, so once you logged into your account, you will have this like to use me cloud sync data, blah blah, some other stuff. So what you need to do now is to just press on continue and yeah, you have your... So once you have done that, you will need to go to the unlock website to do an unlock. So once it's done, you can move around to the PC for the rest of the setup. Okay, so once you have un enabled developer options all, you will need to actually launch me unlock too. Once you launch it and you have enabled uh, boot into fast boot mode, you, un you plug your cable to the phone itself and you should be able to see that your phone is connected. Then after that, you can press on the unlock button and there will be two more prompts to basically tell you that the unlock is, um, uh, is it will basically clear off your entire device and stuff. So ask you, you click on unlock anyway, again and again, both two times. So once you are there, you should be able to actually see another screen, which is the, uh, your unlock status. So some some of the device you will need to wait for a certain period of time before you can unlock so you would need to basically wait for the hours to be done uh, before you can try unlocking a device again so um but if you have your waiting time it's not long and you have waited for the waiting time and it's done you can actually go and click on unlock and once an unlock success you should see the screen unlock successfully and you can proceed to the second step Okay, so once the uh, once you have done with your phone unlocking, then of course the uh, first thing you need to do is to download the related images. So it depends on whether you want your phone to be rooted or not. So uh, ultimately, there's a few things. One of them would be the uh, 
Blender images where you need to download. Encryption wise, um, I'll need to see because um, some phones might not need to use it, so we'll need to check on that as well. But the main thing would be the latest Lineage OS uh, ROM and the uh, OpenG apps, latest OpenG apps itself, and the recovery image. So the four items would be the vendor image, the Lineage OS ROM, the G apps, as well as the recovery images. So once we have that ready, we can start the flashing process. So the first thing we need to do would be basically flash the recovery over to the um, phone itself. Let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing you will need to do is to actually flash TWRP to your phone itself. So uh, what you need to do, first of all, you need to have minimal ADB at Fastboot install or any kind of uh, ADB that you have. It can be from Android Studio, Android SDK and stuff like that. So um, <clears throat> once you have that installed, then the next thing you can do would be do ADB devices to ensure the device is connected. So as you can see, the device is connected now. So what you can do is do ADB reboot, uh, boot loader. So your phone will be booted into bootloader mode. So first of all, you need to navigate to your uh, directory of, of all these files. So this will be an F, local phone, HOS. So this is what you have. So once you are in here, as you can see, I have the recovery image here. So what you need to do is do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected as you can see device connector so you can do a fast boot um, flash recovery then uh, recovery image once that is done you can do a fast boot if, uh, if you want to boot recovery So you'll be booted into uh, TWRP where you can actually uh, do the rest of the setup from there. Hi all, so now we are on the uh, TWRP so once this get booted so we can actually just go through some of the stuff. Uh, but before we start doing all that, the best is to do a wipe, uh, just do a factory reset to make sure everything is uh, cleared. So once the thing is cleared, we can go back to it and do a slash install so logically uh, you should install the vendor image add more zips lineage os add more zips um i actually locked through some of the stuff i think several ish people have issues with installing pico package of the gf so um, they recommend to install the nano package and i personally think nano package is not too bad although there are some apps that is pre-built in but it's still pretty good, pretty clean, so uh, we will just go on with the on the package. So once you have all this zip uh, in, then you can just swipe to confirm flash. So what we'll do now is just to wait for the uh, process to complete. Uh, then we'll check out the phone after this. Okay, so once you have this ready, we can do a wipe the weak cache and stuff. So when that is done, we can just reboot the system. And we'll see how the system boots up after this. <clears throat> Okay, so now as you can see, the um, phone is booted up. So what you can do is to change to you know, states and do a start. And uh, it goes to a setup screen. You can put in your Wi-Fi. You can skip this for now. Continue. Um, and just do it next for now. If you want to set up anything, uh, just, just disable all this stuff for now. Accept. Skip this for now. Not now. Anyway, and um, yep, next uh, start. 
Okay, so now this thing is booted up correctly. Um, and it seems that yeah, you have your Linux OS installed. Of course, on a day, this is a very clean ROM, and you want to see how it goes. Um, of course, on a day, there are another options. I think um, if you go to it, I've actually downloaded the Google Camera app as well. Um, apparently, the result has been impressive for this phone on the Google Camera app. So as you can see now, um, I can continue and install. So I'll just install the <coughs> Google Camera for this. And you get a completely stock install on the um, on the Pocophone F1 itself. And um, I would like to actually try this out for a few days and see how it works. But um, personally, I'm a fan of stock Android. So if that it's good, then um, yep, I might just keep on continuing using this as the as the stock thing. So this new camera we are talking about, allow, 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 and allow. So we we'll need to see how the camera apps works. Um, the first round might be a bit slow. We we'll need to see. Uh, the thing is covered, so we can't actually see things properly, right? So, now like I said uh, I'll use this for a while and check out how good uh, this works in the stock round. But so far, the review has been pretty great. Uh, as you can see now, we can check out the uh, settings. Um, there are some stuff and systems. So about phone. So you can see like this running on the uh, two items, slot 1, slot 2, Android 9, version Android 9, Linux OS and stuff. <clears throat> yep, so um, that's all I have for now. Um, if you want root, you can just install uh, Magis, uh, I think Magis inside um, for you to actually root the phone. Um, I don't normally root my phone because I don't have specific usage of root. So um, I'll leave the link down uh, below as well for the download and stuff. That you can download the thing to boot your machine. So you just actually need to flash it over TWRP recovery as the normal zip files that I've shown in the video itself. And uh, that's all for now. So if you have any questions regarding this, uh, just drop me a message down below. Um, uh, I will basically respond to you guys um, as soon as I can. And one point to note, um, you need a nano package for the flashing i think i tried with the pico um, it seems to give me issues with the uh, process stop and stuff like that so nano package is the minimal you can go for for this rom itself and also the um vendor image uh what do you call it the, uh, flash itself and the image and the firmware flash itself it needs to be version 9.1 and above 9.1.7 and above so version 10 doesn't work so it needs to be that package as well um, I'll put more in my description or in my blog itself to tell you the actual steps that is done to do this. And uh, that's all I have for today guys. So if you uh, enjoy this video or this video help you to actually flash the Lineage OS into your Pocophone F1, do give me a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for any future videos. And ciao!